yes Each or no. The president of the University of Pennsylvania has tendered her resignation, according to a message sent by the chair of the school's board of trustees. Liz McGill came under fire after she declined to say outright during a congressional hearing that calling for the genocide of Jews would violate Penn's code of conduct. I am asking, specifically calling for the genocide of Jews, does that constitute bullying or harassment? If it is directed and severe or pervasive, it is harassment. So the answer is yes. It is a context-dependent decision, Congresswoman. She faced growing calls to resign, even as she sought to clarify her position in a social media post. I was not focused on, but I should have been. The irrefutable fact that a call for genocide of Jewish people is a call for some of the most terrible violence human beings can perpetrate. McGill has agreed to stay on until an interim president is appointed and will remain a tenured faculty member, according to the chair of the Board of Trustees. At Harvard, does calling for the genocide of Jews violate Harvard's rules of bullying and harassment, yes or no? It can be, depending on the context. Along with McGill, Harvard University President Claudine Gay and Massachusetts Institute of Technology President Sally Kornbluth also testified. They were criticized by their school's Jewish communities for tolerating anti-Semitism, especially in statements by pro-Palestinian demonstrators since the Islamist group Hamas attacked Israel on October 7th. That attack prompted a massive counterattack by Israel.